ACRO radar was built to solve a problem I faced for years, tracking acronyms in massive, complex documents while working on the Tomahawk cruise missile system. In this video series, I'll walk you through everything from setup to advanced features so you can put it to work in your own writing. This first introductory overview will show you the power of what ACRO radar can do for you. So let's get started immediately. First of all, I'm going to add from this ACRO radar screen uh, a few acronyms that we're going to show what we can do. So I'm copying this paragraph into here. And I'm going to separate the sentences so you can see what I'm going to do, uh, the power of it. Now, this is since you've been working in your ACRO radar program and have some of these acronyms entered into the database. So the very first major capability is to be able to spell out these acronyms. And we use the auto sequencer for that. And we just hit that auto sequencer and Acro Radar will automatically go to the database and pull these out. Now, I'm going to use words capability and accept these changes. And, and, there, and there they are. Now, the main thing you want to do in a, in a document is to get these in a get these acronyms in an acronym table. And what we do is is we can hit that report. And you can see your list of acronyms is generated for you real time. And we'll close that. Now, one of the other things that's important is to follow acronym rules. I'm going to cut and I'm going to copy and paste this thing. And now we have the acronyms, and they're all spelled out twice. And as anyone who deals with acronyms knows, the acronyms are only supposed to be spelled out on first use. So let's try using that auto sequencer again. And what it will do is it will go through and will detect anything that's been spelled out more than once, and it will rearrange them like it just did, like I just showed you, and we're going to use words accept capability and accept all changes again. Now, these are in the, these are all in the correct acronym rule case, and to prove that, we'll go to one of the reports that you can use called Acro Lineage and run that on your document, and it's going to show you in green all the acronyms, if they were yellow, it means that they're not following the correct acronym usage rules. And the language here is S means it's spelled out on first use, and U means it's unspelled, which is good. So this whole acronym usage table is showing us that our document is good. Now, let's, let's say we cut and pasted this. Uh, in a document somewhere else, and now we're all out of sequence again. Uh, and let's put this on top. We're going to put this on top, and let's see if the auto sequencer can detect all of these out of sequence acronyms. And it's going to go through its algorithm, and it's going to it's going to uh, resequence everything in the correct way. We're going to accept these, and now we're going to do the show. Uh, we're going to do the acronym lineage report again to just to prove that everything is in its right place. And as you can see, it is, except now we have spelled, unspelled, unspelled. This is a correct lineage 
uh, for acronyms, spelled out on the first juice and not spelled out any anywhere else. Down here is just the current acronym settings for, for convenience. So, uh, this is prob perhaps the most powerful capability of Acro Radar is to be able to do that auto sequencing. And before I leave this really quick overview of capabilities, I want to show you this is the Acro Radar menu, its main menu ribbon up here, and it's got several features of which each feature will be discussed in another video. And I'll just do probably the most used is highlight all pages, and this is going to show you that uh, acronyms that are correctly spelled are in blue and then we can clear that out and we can detect any acronym that let's let's just type in NATO here uh, it's not spelled out let's highlight that again and you can see the unspelled is not spelled out so, but if I wanted to spell it out, I could expand it here. And, and there we have it. It's spelled out. And I'm going to accept all changes for this. Uh, okay, so back to Acro Radar. This will all be, Acro Radar will show up on your Word main tabs once it's installed and you'll get all of these features down here depending upon your subscription that you get. Uh, the basic features will get you, you know, a lot of the basic things you need to determine where acronyms are, show the acronym table, those types of things. Uh, one other thing I'd like to show you is a way to adjudicate these acronyms is the launch acro check. And it's going to come out and, and show you already in green. Uh, everything is in, inside this also. Uh, so that's a quick overview. And thanks for watching this acronym tutorial. Uh, if you found this helpful, please like and subscribe to stay updated on new features and best practices. Uh, you can go down to here uh, and find Acro Radar at, at this website. And that's, that's about it. I'll see you in the next video.